Okay, uh, let's get started. Hi everyone, thank you for coming uh, to uh, listen to uh, my presentation. So my name is Shen Wang from Intel uh, Open Source Technology Center. Uh, I'm focusing on the uh, networking and storage uh, engineering. And uh, we also have another uh, two guys. Uh, one is from, uh, also from Intel ODC and uh, he is my colleague. And the other one is uh, from uh, China Mobile. Uh, he is a program manager. Uh, in China Mobile. So uh, this is joint work with uh, China Mobile, uh, Intel and China Mobile on uh, the ONAP project. So, so basically I will cover three uh, projects. One is called uh, Acrino, the second one is called uh, ONAP, and uh, the third one is called Starling X. So we are going to uh, um, cover the um, usage case, especially for the uh, virtual CPE to uh, launch virtual CPE uh, by ONAP and uh, Starling X. So this is my agenda. Uh, first, I will cover some of the brief uh, uh, introduction about uh, Acrino Edge Stack. And then I will cover the uh, ONAP uh, for the uh, VNF. VNF is virtual network function. And CNF is container network, func uh, network function. So we use the ONAP to orchestrate and manage the, the life cycle of VNF and CNFs. And Starling X uh, serves as uh, infrastructure as a service. As, uh, based on, uh, as we know, Starling X is based on OpenStack. So we also add some uh, features, uh, special features uh, on top of Starling X to uh, uh, give the high performance and low latency and uh, high availability solutions in Starling X. And another very important concept in the ONAP is uh, called the uh, closed control loop. This is uh, for the network automation. And uh, I will also uh, introduce the hardware platform awareness because we will leverage the hardware uh, technologies, especially uh, acceleration technologies, to uh, improve the performance of the uh, network functions. And the uh, last one I will, uh, last topic I will uh, uh, cover is uh, virtual CPE as an example. We we uh, test with uh, on top of uh, ONAP and Starling X. So Acrino, so what is Acrino? So everyone, uh, everyone is talking about uh, edge computing. So uh, yeah, at the beginning of this year, so uh, at and announced a project, umbrella project inside the uh, Linux Foundation is called Acrino. So this is a brief stack, shows like what Acrino uh, can do. So on, uh, in the bottom, it's uh, called a full, fully integrated open, open edge stack is to manage the infrastructure and also uh, like uh, the life cycle, the infrastructure uh, uh, life cycle for the uh, uh, edge applications. And uh, in the middle, that's called the API layer. It's a middleware layer to uh, expose API for the up layer applications. Uh, the, uh, the application means that uh, some of the application, edge application, wrong uh, in the user user space. So they uh, provide API to for the application to assess the uh, under layer uh, infrastructure, and also uh, provide the middleware and API to uh, give the capability to for the cross platform interoper on interoperability, because not everyone is running on, on AT and T or, or other the uh, telco carriers. Uh, the so the only only top is to, uh, it's a standard. Uh, this is um, uh, mm, the open for the application for the edge application. So we don't know so well, what are they, but uh, it's up to the users to develop the application uh, on top of them. So this is a detailed uh, uh, Acrino edge stack. Uh, this is proposed by AT and T uh, at the beginning of this year, and. Uh, I, we will see some involvement, but this is basically uh, the building blocks for the edge, edge stack. So we are focusing on the two parts, uh, the yellow box. So uh, at the bottom is uh, the hardware, the, the blue box are hardwares. And uh, so uh, uh, in, uh, on top of the hardware is the infrastructure, uh, like uh, the storage networking and uh, orchestration and open stack. And the, uh, and the open operating system uh, like Linux. So we are using uh, Starling X to replace OpenStack. This is the options reference. We, we can uh, use uh, uh, any options to uh, 
any alternatives to replace the, the box. So we are going to use the SunnyX to replace the uh, OpenStack part. And on top of that, it's an own app. It's called the NFV and uh, uh, NFV orchestrator, NFV uh, management, lifecycle management. So own app is recommended by AT and T to uh, for the orchestration and the management, NFV orchestration and the management. So. Uh, for the up layer, uh, a lot of uncertainty because uh, most of the components are not, uh, not uh, well defined. It's uh, up to the community to contribute projects, contribute ideas into the, the uh, different boxes. And uh, CICD and also LSHIP uh, uh, also in the box for the uh, overall deployment and uh, uh, infrastructure lifecycle management. Uh, I heard from, from them. Uh, so this, uh, this is uh, the, the, the brief introduction about the old Acrino. So this is an umbrella project. So uh, it's a framework. So we need other projects to be, uh, to be added into the framework, added into the umbrella project. So what about the ONAP? ONAP is uh, um, what's uh, uh, created uh, last year, uh, in March last year. So uh, there's a two projects uh, that were merged into ONAP. It's one is called eComp, the AT&T uh, open source, they are internal. Some of the internal components in, the, in their product uh, is called open eComp. And the other one is uh, uh, open source community, it's called open O. So uh, they, both, they uh, merged two projects into ONAP to provide the capability for the, uh, it's called so-called NFV orchestration and uh, lifecycle management. So ONAP is a model driven. Uh, it's for the network automation. Uh, this is a big uh, feature they, uh, uh, they announced. So they are using uh, Tosca and also, uh, so far they can also can use uh, heat to uh, orchestrate the WNF or, or CNFs. So ONAP is a platform to orchestrate uh, the WNF CF uh, in the SDN uh, environment. Uh, mm, it is a, a composed. It's composed uh, uh, composed by uh, of a bunch of uh, components. Uh, most of the components are responsible for different uh, uh, responsibilities, and uh, uh, I can say that uh, most of the components are tightly coupled. So some of the components you cannot run ONAP without or suffer, suffer some of the components. So it's, it's a composition of several comp applications uh, running in ONAP. And the ONAP is divided into two parts, divided into two uh, stages. One is called design, design stage, and the other one is called the runtime stage. Uh, this is a detailed architecture of ONAP. So for the design time, design time, uh, this uh, the admin, the telco admin can use the, the GUI to uh, design the service. The service, uh, service contains the many uh, uh, virtual machines. Virtual, uh, uh, virtual machine uh, corresponding to a uh, virtual function, virtual network function. A uh, service uh, uh, can be uh, defined in the design time. And uh, on, uh, on the right is a wrong time. So they will call the, uh, uh, the, the major code flow is uh, Design time is a design. Uh, it's for the uh, administrator uh, in the telco carrier to design the VN apps. And on the right side, uh, the uh, SDC will launch the will will load the the template, the, the so-called modern driven type template, to to launch the uh, the uh, VN app or CN apps. And we call, and uh, uh, in a way to launch uh, VN app or CN app, there's two options they have because the projects come from two parts, one is from AT&T, the other one is from uh, China Mobile. So there's two parts to go the, uh, to launch the WNF, to, to launch the virtual machines. Uh, one is called the SO application, uh, it's called the IPVC application controller, and then called the multi-cloud. The, uh, then multi-cloud will call the uh, OpenStack or other clouds to launch virtual machines. Uh, the other option we have is uh, it's called the VFC, Virtual Function Controller. So the uh, SDC and the policy can call the virtual function, uh, virtual function Controller, and the Virtual Function Controller and can call the uh, multi-cloud and call OpenStack to launch the virtual machines for the network function. 
So this is uh, the, the uh, brief workflow for in the own app. So for the des uh, design time, so we have uh, many, uh, so we can uh, define many uh, virtual functions. So we can upload the, the virtual function uh, models. Uh, each virtual function model can be described described by a, a Tosca template. It's uh, like a YAML file. Tosca template, uh, and uh, in the design time, they also uh, it's like a, a Google Play or like a, a app, Apple uh, app shop. So, so, so there's component to uh, play, uh, to um, make a place for the uh, uh, VNF vendors. Put the VNF on top of that. So, the design time also a component to validate to assign a license certified virtual functions. So the uh, telco, ca telco carriers can use the Win apps. Like a, it's like a marketplace. So uh, and also Design Hammer can create uh, categories and also to uh, distribute for instantia uh, instantiation. So this is a Design Time. It's very uh, it's very small part in the in a overall architecture. And on the right uh, on the wrong, uh, wrong time. Uh, so this sh this diagram shows the two parts, two options. One is SO called VFC, uh, 3.9.1 and 3.2.2. So called VFC and multi cloud. And this is the options for, for tail carrier can use. OpenStack is one of the options. We also can use the Wind River. We also can use the uh, VMware. We also can use the uh, Microsoft Azure. So, uh, um, Anything uh, so uh, for the cloud. So uh, the other the other parts we can go is the SO to call the multi cloud and uh, to go that another way. <coughs> so runtime is uh, the major purpose of the runtime ONAP runtime is to initiate uh, virtual functions, initiate those virtual machines, and also do the life cycle to monitor life cycle uh, of the virtual machines like a start, stop, reset, scale up, scale down. Uh, Etc. And also monitor the environment. Uh, so StarnyX, StarnyX is a a top level OpenStack Foundation pilot project. Is a, uh, I, I believe many people uh, already uh, mentioned that. And the StarnyX is uh, first release was uh, uh, released uh, last month, and is a new uh, it's a new project and it encourage more people to contribute. So StarnyX software uh, provides high performance, low latency, and high availability for Edge Cloud. So this is uh, the uh, architecture of uh, StarnyX. Um, basically, StarnyX is based on OpenStack. Most of the components are from OpenStack. And also, uh, we add some, the community also add some uh, the values or add some features on top of that, like uh, configuration management, fault management. Host management, service management, and software management, and also uh, StarnyX will run uh, on top of uh, the other open source project like Ceph. So we, uh, I care more about uh, the networking. So uh, we are using the o OVS DBDK, uh, Open vSwitch DBDK, and also use the SRV uh, to get a better performance for StarnyX. Uh, so. Not to talk about talk more about StarnyX because it's not a StarnyX session, and uh, next one I will cover the network auto automation. This is a, uh, a concept in the old app. It's called a uh, control uh, control uh, control loop. So uh, control loop means that everything can be handled. Everything about the virtual uh, virtual machine can be handled in inside the old app. You don't need the additional component. You don't need the additional project to to handle that. So uh, including the design, the how you, you can design the virtual machine. So when I say virtual machine, it's, a, it's refers to virtual network function. So you can design a virtual machine. You can, you can create that. You can collect the information for that. You can analyze this data to, uh, to get uh, uh, the status of the virtual machine. And also you can detect any failure or detect any uh, warning. And you also, you also can publish and response to uh, the, the condition, when the condition is changed. So uh, these are some components in ONAP to, uh, that are responsible for the uh, control loop. So control loop means uh, the, the biggest difference 
uh, between control loop, uh, closed control loop, and uh, uh, open control, uh, control uh, open control loop is uh, for open control loop. You need uh, the admin, you need the human to interact to uh, do some action for the uh, for the uh, incident. But for the closed control loop, so everything can be done automatically. Everything can can be done by the system. So for the control loop. Um, the, the own app can execute uh, to uh, this thing they call this uh, enforce the one of the many actions to remediate the, the network condition because they have a monitor component to monitor the condition. And uh, they also can detect a network, uh, a new network condition that had been corrected uh, through uh, our actions. So this is a big difference. So for the long time, uh, the control loop is to uh, choose and create microservices to make a control loop because every component, every morning com component or policy component running inside microservices. It's running as a container. Uh, so also uh, uh, model, so you can also uh, the specify the model file to be distributed in a, in a long time for the control loop. So the, the component will recognize the, what model described it, describes. Uh, so more about the control loop is uh, long, for a long time, they can, you can config the, configure it, the control loop uh, the driven by the uh, WinF or CNF. You also can trigger the uh, deployment of a control loop, uh, is, uh, including trigger the API exposed by the, the DCAE. DCAE is the monitor component in ONAP. And also you can uh, do the lifecycle management of control loop. Uh, you can monitor the status of the uh, virtual machine. You can monitor the status of virtual function uh, and uh, to do some, to trigger some actions uh, for, for the uh, um, un unusual, unusual state, uh, status. So this is a, a, a work, uh, flow, the working flow for the control loop. So DCA is the monitor. A policy is the major part to trigger to to launch the virtual to launch the uh, uh, virtual machines. So policy will call uh, AppC, SO, or other components to launch WinF, and also use the DCAE to, to monitor the uh, WinF. When something is wrong, the a policy because policy has some defined policy. The policy will trigger the action to through the AppC through the uh, SO. So for the we or probably uh, restart, probably do migrate to migrate to the virtual machine, uh, migrate to the WinF. Uh, well, anyway, but do uh, actions uh, predefined in the policy to uh, get a new condition, new network condition for the WinFs. So this is the uh, the diagram, the, the workflow for to uh, explain uh, what the control loop is uh, inside the uh, ONAP runtime. Uh, the other way uh, we are doing is uh, we call the HPA. So there's a critical path for the HPA. Uh, one is uh, policy, uh, OF, because we are working with China Mobile, so we choose the other way, we have to call, uh, VFC. VFC is from China Mobile, uh, AppC is from AT&T. So we choose the, the other way, well, VFC to, to run our experiments. Uh, so policy, OF, VFC, and uh, multi-cloud is the four uh, critical parts, uh, four components in the critical parts of HPA. So what is HPA? HPA is called Hardware Platform Awareness. Uh, so in, uh, in OpenStack, there's also a uh, similar concept. Uh, to, uh, this is a, a concept to describe the hardware capability to have the ONAP or OpenStack to understand what capability can be provided by the hardware. So, there's two focus areas. Uh, one is to detect the capability. The other one is the configuration capability. Uh, HPA requirements is a part of ETSI NFV uh, descriptor, the WinF descriptor, because uh, uh, the NFV uh, in NFV uh, WinF cares more about performance uh, since. Uh, it's, it's not running on the bare metal machines, it's running on, on uh, virtual machines. So I care more about that. Uh, so this is a sample, shows how, uh, uh, you can regard it on uh, the right part is a, a sample for the Tosca. 
uh, because uh, uh, it just shows uh, how to, uh, to describe the requirements of our virtual machines. Uh, the red box shows the HPA uh, requirements, as including the, the uh, memory size, the number of CPUs. Uh, so besides those, we have complicated uh, requirements uh, specification, like uh, I can require SRV, I can require DVDK. Uh, to run uh, my virtual machines, to run my virtual ne network functions, so I can I can require I can specify the requirements on inside the Tosca model, so use Tosca as a language, so the policy will load the Tosca, uh, um, policy will translate the Tosca model into uh, a language which uh, the machine can the system can understand, so. Uh, on the right part is a policy distribution. Uh, you can see the policy distribution box, the, the, uh, the blue box, the get the data from SDC. SDC is the, the GUI, it's called the Service Design Center. It's a GUI for the, for the admin, for, the, for human to design the services, to design the virtual network functions. So SD, uh, policy distribution loaded the the Tosca model and uh, tell the uh, policy driven description, uh, decision and the enforcement framework. And then they call OF. OF is another component in ONAP. OF tells uh, where to place the virtual machine. Uh, so, first, so this, this are five steps. The first step is uh, WinF, send the requirements, homing. Homing means placement. Send out the placement requirements to OF. So OF will pull the, the requirements from policy because policy will read the Tosca requirements, right? So OF will check the A, A, A and AI database. It's a, it's a database to save the how many, um, uh, suppose the OpenStack is used by uh, ONAP. So in a database, uh, the o, um, ONAP will save how many uh, flavors uh, uh, in the uh, in the uh, OpenStack, how many flavors the uh, ONAP can be used? So OF will check the database, uh, check the data. So where is the SRV? Where is the where is the the host to to satisfy the needs of a memory a, a specific memory size and a, a specific number of CPUs? So OF will check the database, and uh, also uh, number four is OF will check the multi cloud to talk with the OpenStack. So, uh, the, is it feasible for to launch the v, uh, VNF on the target? So, in the last step, OF will return the homing, the placement allocation to VFC, and VFC will call ONAP, or will call the uh, multi cloud to, uh, multi cloud will call the OpenStack to launch the VNF, uh, VNFs. So, if the if a person uh, Specifies uh, uh, specifies our requirements like uh, we I need a SRV, so OF so policy will translate the requirements. OF will understand oh you need a SRV, so I check with the database where the SRV is. So uh, OF uh, will find the target and uh, will call the VFC to call multi cloud to call the OpenStack and uh, to launch the SRV. We know the SRV is uh, specified in the uh, flavor as an uh, actual spec, right? So we can, uh, he, uh, OF will create that to launch the, the WinF uh, where the SRV uh, is uh, offered on, on that host. So we also do some modification in the multi-cloud. The multi-cloud is a, a, a layer to, uh, since like uh, the multi-cloud can call OpenStack, uh, different versions. Multi-cloud also can call the Wind River uh, distributions. Multi-cloud also can call VMware. So I, I also mentioned that multi-cloud can call the AWS or call Microsoft, right? So multi-cloud is a layer on top of the cloud solutions, uh, IA, IaaS solutions. So we will do some modification to have uh, multi-cloud support Sunny X. Uh, we, we add a plugin inside that, inside of uh, the multi-cloud framework. So the, for the uh, uh, use case, uh, we'll get a question. Uh, can ONAP work with Sunny X on the Arduino uh, to, uh, to launch uh, virtual, uh, virtual functions uh, for the edge? So we tried that, uh, tried that out with the C virtual CPE. 
So uh, what you see is uh, before I, I go to the what you see, uh, there's a concept to uh, describe the what the what you see is. So uh, this is a concept called the uh, resident, uh, residential gateway. The so RG RG is, uh, have two parts. It's called BRG. BRG runs at a, a home at uh, the uh, community, and uh, there's another tool called the virtual uh, gateway. It's run on the core network on the data center. So in this diagram, so uh, the BRG serve as a switching L2 switching. Uh, so uh, the the devices at home can connect to the BRG, the virtual BRG, uh, to link. Uh, through the lo logical subscriber link to the VG, and the VG help them to connect to the internet to WAN. So this is a uh, uh, this is a, the virtual CPE uh, uh, diagram. Uh, virtual CPE is not a single it's not a single virtual machine. It's a, it contains a bunch of virtual machines. So the virtual machine work together to so, uh, to offer the network connectivity uh, service to the user. Uh, this is, uh, so as I mentioned, there's, uh, uh, this uh, RG is uh, distributed between uh, the on-site devices and also edge cloud-based uh, components. So there's a statement to uh, introduce uh, a virtual CPE. So virtual CPE uh, is a way to deliver network service such as the routing, firewall security and virtual private network connectivity to enterprise by using software rather than dedicated hardware. So uh, this diagram shows, uh, so on, the, on the left part is access is uh, the corresponding to the home, the home network. Aggregation part is uh, corresponding to the uh, LSL, the logical subscriber link. And on the core, the, on the right part is uh, Corresponds to the the VG VG part virtual gateway. So uh, virtual CPE contain, contains VBNG, VHE, v, VDHCP. Depends on the usage. Depend on depends on the user scenario. It contains a bunch of virtual machines work together to provide services. So uh, with uh, virtual CPE, uh, we don't need a hardware device to connect to the internet. We can use a, a simple or cheaper. Uh, Hardware around running uh, virtual machines to provide a service for for the home to connect to the internet. And uh, this is diagram shows the uh, this is the own app. It's own app uh, the components to work uh, to launch the those uh, those virtual machines. So this is uh, this diagram shows more uh, virtual machines like a VBNG is an aggregation uh, inside of the home network, and VG. MUX is an aggregation of uh, virtual functions to uh, uh, serve in the uh, uh, core, uh, core uh, data or edge or data center, the network. So this is, a one, uh, this is our family. This is another family. They also have their separate BRG to connect to virtual B, uh, BNG. And virtual BNG connect to the VG mix, MUX. The VG, uh, VG mix uh, connect to the VG1, VG2. So VG1, VG2 help to connect to the web server and onto the internet. So uh, the in this scenario, uh, VCP scenario, it's help to launch all of the virtual machines to serve the uh, serve the users. So this is the environment we have. So we uh, this uh, introduction for the uh, VCP, uh, we use ONAP and StarNX to launch those virtual machines. So and, uh, we do the exper experiments to, so that to prove that that can work. So this is the environment at China Mobile Lab. So uh, for the ONAP testing, uh, StarnyX is uh, one cloud, and uh, we have another cloud, VMWell. We have another cloud called uh, Wind River. So to to do the uh, uh, to launch different uh, to launch different uh, uh, edge applications. Uh, Wind River, Wind River, OpenStack, and StarNX are used to launch v, uh, virtual CPE, and uh, VMware. Uh, uh, no, sorry, uh, another Wind River, uh, Wind River distribution is help to launch the uh, so-called uh, virtual L L L LOTE. 
so uh, Sony X is helped to launch the uh, uh, we CPE. So this is uh, the uh, the test plan for the for the the <coughs> the pro program. So ONAP, this is a status of engine uh, uh, on the engineering and testing. So ONAP uh, R three Casablanca uh, R three is about to be released in November, in the middle of November. So right now it's not released, uh, but in this release uh, we already added the HPA support, specifically uh, SRV support inside of uh, ONAP, and for the POC uh, we onboard. Uh, VCP with uh, ONAP. We use ONAP to do the uh, life cycle management for VCPE. And uh, launched by ONAP and ONAP uh, and also by SunnyX because ONAP will call SunnyX in multi cloud uh, module. And SRV is uh, enabled. And the integration testing is ongoing because it's uh, uh, right before the ONAP release. So it's ongoing at China Mobile ONAP lab, and, but uh, at local. We uh, already launched that, uh, launched the user scenario. Another POC I'm going to introduce uh, is, uh, is this one, the FlexRan. So uh, if you are interested in the scenario, you can uh, go to the Intel demo booth. So they already have a POC to uh, use ONAP to launch, use ONAP to call the StarnyX, StarnyX to launch FlexRan uh, for, for the edge uh, usage. So you can you can uh, dig more at uh, Intel booth for this uh, demo. The we have we have to, uh, the same team on, uh, to develop the different uh, demonstration because uh, 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 test plan are different. The China Mobile doesn't care this scenario. China Mobile care the other the other plan, the VCP plan and multi plan. So StarnyX R1 is released last month. And uh, we also use uh, the open source. Uh, if, you are using, if you are interested in that, you can download the source of uh, VCPE. Uh, all are open source uh, to, to try uh, ONAP uh, and StarnyX and the VCP after, after ONAP release, after middle of November. Uh, uh, otherwise, you need to do some more uh, work because uh, uh, we are also on the integration testing. But for the POC, you can take a look at that. I think that's pretty much of it. Uh, thank you for coming, and thank you for listening to my presentation. Uh, any question you have? No? Thank you so much.